Hey sweeties, how are you doing? Welcome to Naya Sing. If this is your first time of coming across this channel, sweetheart, can this mother subscribe or and turn your notifications so you are notified each time I upload. And please give this video a thumb up. I appreciate you all so much and I am saying a very big shout out to every one of you for all the love and support you all give me here. I am truly grateful. Thank you all so much. So this man, I mean a pump colored man actually came out to say that uh, his, that was his own opinion. He said, why is it that nobody is talking about the about, about black people hitting a woman on her head with a folding chair and people are like oh wow why are you trying to bring this up like you did not see the woman trying to harm someone trying to and what was she even doing there at that point like so all you got to do right now is trying to say a man hit a woman and uh you guys do not want to talk about what started the whole thing how it all started and how they were already trying to uh, 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 lane and shin uh, the security guard who actually did not say anything wrong rather than telling them to do the right thing where do what they are supposed to do but instead of them because they are the superior uh people instead of them to do the right thing they decided to like you know um fight the man and they think they were go, like it was what I told you guys one over five. They think they will get away with it, like you know, one person uh, uh, against five person, or five persons against one person. I mean to say, and uh, they to them it's gonna be one of those things that they do. You know how, what they know how to do best is how to, like you know, win and chain somebody and get away with it. So to them it's going to be that. Let's just like you know be into stupor like we like we do before. And it did not turn out the way they wanted it. Now they are looking for a way to uh, get attention and all that. That attention you are seeking ain't going to work. We are happy everything really went well. I mean, like it was a great mission. Mission accomplished. This is where uh, I am just going to roll this clip. We'll come back to talk about it. Let me know what you are thinking in the comments in the section. So straight up, I am rolling there. Oh, he tried it. Good job. Hey, I want to tell you. I see all the content on social media about this stuff that happened down at the riverfront in Montgomery, Alabama. But not one fucking person, not one person, recognized the fact that a grown-ass fucking man hit a woman over the head with a fucking folding chair. A grown-ass man hit a woman over the head with a fucking chair and she was already sitting on the fucking dock not one comment or anything on all of your social media content not one of you talking about that man hitting that woman with a chair what's up with that all people talking about is the chair in the swim not only did so many people recognize that swinging the chair took it too far, that's the reason my folks was talking about bail bonds and stuff, because we knew you was going to jail for hitting anyone with a chair. But what you're not going to do is try to swing the narrative of this, this whole cabral didn't happen if those thugs didn't just conform to the law, just conform to authority, you feel me, and move their old boat. But no, now the chair is making its rings around the social media and it's famous. All type of chair arguments and jokes. This man said that the dude was doing chair jitsu. Speaks volume of his character, right? How long was that video? About two or three minutes. And the only thing he got out of it was a chair. This the reason why Karen's recognize they can rally up the troops with acting like they a damsel in distress or knowing anything coming to them. Because dudes like that, dudes like that. I'm talking about, we're talking about Rosewood in Florida or Tulsa in Oklahoma. We recognize that particular women's feeling like something happened with them or something actually happened there, you know, because she get hit by the chair. Shit happened. You see what I'm saying? And, and and you see what this dude right here doing. He know everything else was wrong and bad. So you know what he gonna say? This grown ass man hits him with a chair. Nobody's condoning, you feel me, him hitting him with a chair. And I think everybody's saying that he probably going to jail. You know what I'm saying? Not only is that, he probably the only one that should go to jail because he went too far. You see what I'm saying? And then you got people that's making fun of the chair too because it's just kind of like, damn, when WWE with it. But man, listen, there was also women fighting women in that video. So for you to sensationalize that part, you know, it's, it's kind of crazy. Especially saying like, I ain't see nobody saying it. You can literally type in Alabama chair on TikTok, on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook and see a whole bunch of commentary about it. 
So let's not lie. You see what I'm saying? I make sweeping claims if it is not happening. Try to make nuances with the analysis if you can. Education is elevation. Shirts available on the website. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Jeff. Hey, I want to tell you. I see all the content on social media. So we don't give a damn about that lady getting hit with that chair. That chair was a spiritual chair. That chair was for Breonna Taylor who got shot in her home while she was asleep by the police. That chair was for Diamond who screamed on live while her baby was in the back seat when Philando Castile got murdered and we had to watch. That chair was for Sandra Bland. That chair was for Mammy who had to watch an open casket of Emmett Till at the hands of white women. That chair was for Trayvon Martin's mother who y'all paid legal fees for, for George Zimmerman to get off for killing that baby who was walking home with a hoodie and a pack of Skittles. That chair was for the time we was traumatized and watched George Floyd breathe his last breaths because there was nothing we could do but film. And all we could do was watch. That chair was for him. That chair is for when y'all shot up churches and then took that white man to Burger King afterwards. That chair was for y'all voting Donald Trump in and saying it was good people on both sides when they had their little tiki torches. That chair was for Ron DeSantis, who is terrorizing black people and people of color in Florida as we speak. That chair was so liberating for us to finally see in real time, us being able to fight back and win against oppressors that have been doing this for centuries when all we could do was watch my people join in on the fight not only are we not gonna give a damn about that chair we gonna take pictures with that chair we gonna make memes about that chair we gonna put that chair on shirts that chair is going in museums because while you see a black man attacking a white woman with a chair we see black people being able to overcome and let y'all know that not only are we our ancestors, we are ancestors times a hundred. So keep fucking around and finding the fuck out. Fucking folding chair. I'll comment on it. I'll comment on it. Go on. I got six metal folding chairs in my garage. <laughs> Say what? Say less. She got what she gave. And the reason she was sitting down on the dock is because she had just got the ah, sonic coins knocked out of her ass. He was caught up in the moment. <laughs> he was caught up in the moment. He did what he did. He feared for his life. Isn't that what y'all say all the time when you shoot black people that are unarmed and stuff like that? He, he didn't know what she was going to do. She had already got links in all over <coughs> the docks. He did what he had to do. And all of these big creators, that man hitting her over the head with the chair, like, that was wrong. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. It wasn't wrong for her to jump into the fray and, and get her some, some licks in. That wasn't wrong. They ain't said nothing about that. If, that. if you watch that whole video, and that's the point that you bring out and see, <laughs> I don't have a lot. I don't have a lot for you. Well, yes, I do, because I'm getting ready to say it. So let me tell you, because... Um, I drove all night to Illinois so I could come here and pick up my load, and I shut down at like 2 o'clock in the morning, or no, it was like 6 something, and then I stayed up until like 10 watching these videos and stuff like that, and let me tell you what I know happened, okay, so he was very nice to those people at first, when they first parked their boat there, he told them, you can't park your boat here, this is where the ferry docks, okay, don't leave your boat here and those people and they left their boat there and they walked off so what happened when the ferry was coming in and actually needed to dock and their boat was still there him and a, kudos to the little white kid because i don't know if y'all saw it when those when those white men first took that black security guard down, that little white kid that was helping him um, push the boat in the dock, he tried to get in and they came after him. You see what I'm saying? Racist, they don't care. That was a little white kid. They was trying to beat him up too because he got in there to try and help save that security guard to try and get them off of him. You, you got to watch the video because he did. He went in there when they first jumped on him. And tried to get him off and they turned on him for a minute and he backed up like okay I'm, I'm just a kid 
okay? So then let me tell you what happened. So they, they're pushing the boat out of the way, okay? And then, then people came down because they saw them pushing their boat. And I'm going to tell you right now, that man was like, I told you you can't put your dock here and blah, 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 blah. And I'll bet donuts to dollars, donuts to dollars, those people came out their mouth with some N-word this and some blah, 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 and called him a boy or something. Because that's how it started getting heated because that black street guy was like, I don't give a fuck what you're calling me. You got to move your boat because I told you you got to go move your boat. And then there, da, 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 even the women. Even the women. And then they came over like Billy um, Badass. Thought they was going to do something. And that's why they got dragged all up and down that dock. Like that dock don't even need to be cleaned. Because they use their shirts and their shoes and everything to drag them up and down that dock and clean that dock off real good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was a sight to behold. I drop a tear when I see that little young Aquaman, when I see him jump in the water and swim. The videos, the memes that I've seen, I've laughed, I've cried. I changed my profile picture to Harriet Tubman handing her people a folding chair. And let me just say this, I don't ever think that our ancestors didn't try to rise up and fight. When we say we're not our ancestors, what we mean is we are now in a time where we do not have to allow that. Okay? I mean, some of y'all still do it, but, you know, you're not going to light crosses in our yard and drag us from our homes. And I mean, some of y'all still will, but you're really not going to do that. Mm-hmm. And what this video did, because I've seen white creators, black creators, every type of person creators. I've not seen one video except for this one give any support to those white men that jumped that man for doing his job. And then also one of the guys owns that Vassar Mini Mart. I've actually seen the comment where black people were saying, well, we're not going to come there. You know, you're about to lose your job and all that stuff. And the Vassar Mini Mart guy, the one that said, I didn't even do anything. I, I, I ran away. You see me running away because I realized I didn't want no part of it when there's video that absolutely shows you in the middle of the fray getting your licks in. Where he made a comment where he says, I don't need you people's money anyway. I like the superior white dollars. They deleted their whole Facebook page. That's our mini mark. But the internet is forever because they're screenshots and I've seen them. So everybody's like, oh, it's not about race. You know, it's blah, blah. It was about race because I'm telling you right now, that's what made that exchange. Besides the fact that they were drunk. Besides the fact that they were told, asked nicely to do something and they didn't do it. They let their superiority complex get them to a point where they weren't going to do it. And I'm telling you right now, the reason it got heated, because you saw the black security guard, da, 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 and you saw them, da, 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 da. and that was more than him just telling them, I said, you got to move your motherfucking boat. I'm telling you. It became racial because those white people made it racial. That's why that black security guard got so heated. That's what happened. Mm -hmm. But it's united us, and I hope that these, and I'm saying on all my platforms, I'm seeing people, it's something that should have happened long ago, long ago, this type of uniting. And I choose violence. All these people like, oh, it wasn't, it was wrong for him to hit her. No, it wasn't. She was in there giving licks, licks just like a man. You get what you give. You get what you give. Because let me tell you, if anybody who follows me knows whenever I post a Karen video or something like that, it's always these racist people um, thinking that they can, and 
a lot of people don't respond how I think they should respond. You've got some racist in your face telling you to go back to your country. You're in America. Speak English. You know, talking sh bullshit to Muslims and telling Asians to go back to their country and the same to Hispanics and you're in America. Speak English and, and that small town song, Good Old Boys, and we stick up for our own. And we all know good and gosh damn well because I've lived in a small town. That, that ain't how it works. Okay, and you know, getting in people's space and spitting on them and calling them the N word and stuff like that. And we've seen a few videos where people have mink, 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 but most of the time we're trying to talk them down and explain to them. And we're supposed to be the bigger. I always see people, she didn't even have to do that. Why didn't she just, you know, just talk to me? Underst I need to understand, learn me, teach me. I'm not teaching you shit. It's 2023. Do your own research. I'm not even a religious, but I'm going to tell you something right now. See this forehead? Ain't no way in hell, eight pounds, seven ounce baby Jesus gave me this big ass forehead not to headbutt somebody the moment they try me. And this is why I say I, I will never have a caring experience or anything like that because the good Lord knows <laughs> I'm going to jail. And all these people talk about some civil war. <laughs> The thing you fail to realize is, I saw a comment the other day, we're 60-something percent of the population and you guys are only 14 percent. There's this many million white people and this many million black people. You think you're going to win? What you fail to realize, sir, is the 252 million white people are not all going to fight on the side of racists or Trumpers or Christian conservative Republicans. So your, your numbers are skewed like they are quite frequently when you guys talk anything about numbers. But get it together. Civil war, my ass. <laughs> Have the day you deserve. Odin Flag. Hit a woman over the head with a fucking folding chair. Did you know on August the 28th, 1955, a grown woman got a 14-year-old black boy killed? Not only was she able to go on and live her life after doing this, she was able to say that she lied about it. And I ain't never got in trouble for it. Hit a woman over the head with a fucking folding chair. Uncle, you're skipping way ahead. Let's start this movie from the beginning. You didn't think about the father who probably has kids and foster kids or stepchildren or being an uncle to someone, a brother, a relation, that he was beaten by a group of people, a family, including the woman, because she was holding him down. But all of, a, all of a sudden now, when she get an ass whooping, because she found out <laughs> after she fucked around, now misogyny and patriarchy has disappeared. Now you care about the woman. Uncle. Don't do that. Go, go do something. I see. I believe you're talking about the chick that was with them when they was jumping the security guard. That's the same chick we talking about. Why did she help them jump that security guard? And why are we mad about the consequences that she had to face at the end? Now, do I care that he played whack-a-mole with Shorty's brain cells when she had left? No. Because did she try to stop it? No. Why was she there? And matter of fact... Forget all that. Do you know August 5th is now a national holiday for us now? It's better than Juneteenth, no cap. But either way we put it, stop saying it was a grown man that whacked her. It wasn't a grown man that whacked her. It was a hero to the black community that whacked her. Make sure you put the word hero in front of it. Because she deserved every shellacking she got with that chair. That is a national treasure right now. Fuck whatever you talking about. Grown ass fucking man hit a woman over the head. Would you be saying the same thing if that woman was named, I don't know, Carolyn Brandt? Because what do you think was going to happen to that security guard if other people did not intercede? So let me tell you something. Ladies of our complexion have been enabling this shit forever. And I know you went on in our video of, Oh, I didn't mention any races. I just mentioned the fact it was a man hitting a woman. The only thing I can say to that 
is lead paint must have been a staple of your diet growing up if you are that blatantly ignorant of how things are in this country. So you can cry about gender equality all you want, but it's true equality when people find out when they fuck around, no matter who they are. What happened in Montgomery, Alabama was absolutely hilarious. <laughs> Oh, y'all really let Jason Aldean gas your heads up, huh? That was your first mistake. You don't take fighting tips from a fake cowboy who wears bedazzled skinny jeans. I love to see it. You know those idiots were on the boat all day listening to that song on repeat. I can't wait. I can't wait, Bubba, till they try that in a small town. We'll show them. <laughs> I've never seen a song taken away from a group of people so quickly in my life. You had a month. You had a good run. <laughs> oh, and I already know what the comments are going to say in this video. How could you celebrate violence? Both sides were wrong. You're causing a divide. Why can't we all just get along? Do you know why there's so much glee and happiness and celebration after this brawl? Because the scenario never ends this way. And we've seen that one too many times where a group of angry white men go to attack an innocent black man. And in this case, an innocent black man who was just trying to do his fucking job. This isn't how the story usually ends. And that deserves to be celebrated. So you think about that before you say some shit like that. And understand why people are happy and people are celebrating. So Mr. Aldean, it's time to whip out your notebook and pencil and write a new anthem. Anyways... Bye. So this is all I got from this video and I am going to say that I don't care whatever what anybody think at this point in time. You are free to say whatever you want to say. They say violence is not the answer, but they watched themselves trying to hit the hitting the man and nobody did anything so if the man did not have people around i mean it would have been a different case and you all uh, absolutely know what happens when something like this happened i mean it would have been like one of those things that have that just happen to black people that they get away with because they always get away with whatever they do especially when it comes to those rubbish ones you know Something would have happened to that man and not, nothing would happen. Like, you know, everybody's life would have continued and like life goes on. Black people are probably going to protect, mourn, cry and all that. But man, like you heard everybody saying, I mean, our ancestors uh, came all through for us. I mean, you saw how everybody were like all hands were on deck trying to get things right. What did that woman, what was she even doing there at the first place? Was she supposed to be there? Was she not supposed to be a woman? Try to uh, like you know, uh, make peace and the rest of it. But they all wanted to be part of the whole thing. I mean that cheer. Oh my goodness! I love to see. I love to see great things happen. I love to see amazing things happen to black people. I love to man. I am. I've been celebrating and I am still gonna keep celebrating. I mean, may this unity continue in our community because this is a very great something deserves to be celebrated because why are they celebrating black people are celebrating not because they want us because they know what would have happened like all these years all these years i mean they always get away with it and not just getting away with it probably somebody a black person might have been down one or two and not nothing like they will not do anything like you know but this time around i mean the Narrative is already changing and yo, this is more like um, an awakening call to other people that want to like, you know, wake up and want to gaslight themselves. Gaslight black people because they think they can do anything at any given point and get away with. No, that time that era has passed, you know, that era when you have to get away with some certain thing has passed and knowing that that particular spot that thing happened was where slavery happened in alabama it's just something like you know our ancestor spirits hmm. all thanks to everybody like i keep it like all thanks to everybody that came through you all did a great job 
I see a lot of white people supporting black people, telling them, yeah, what would have happened if other people did not come around? What would have happened? I don't want to think about that right now, but I am grateful that everything happened at the right time. And this is where I'm going to draw the curtain. Thank you so much for the support. See you all in my next video. Bye for now.